Hello, hello. In this video, I'm going to show you one interesting feature in Artist 5.1. So in this long uh, list, I found very interesting feature like texture renderer, which is like, like a jello cell shader, which uh, it's not possible to open to check the code inside, but it's very nice to have uh, as a built-in feature in the artist for everyone who use it. And how it looks like the how it looks very very nicely because uh, as you can see the quality of this blurness it's very very nice it's very uh, very close to the quality which can provide Photoshop or something like this application so I'm just I'm very very happy that we have it now here as a, just a basic stuff okay so um, actually before I will show you how to make it. Uh, let's check this out how to how we could do this in previous version. This is um, classic render and here the maybe only the maybe I can come up with only two ideas uh, how to make a blurred version of the texture. So the first one is using just a blurred second blurred image of that. So for example, the designer can prepare to to um, two variants of the picture. One of these uh, should be as usual, and the second one is blurred. So, for example, I used this approach for one of the first um, weather graphics I made for the full screen. That was very nice looking. And at the same time, just I, I can I can do this. I could do this actually because uh, the pictures for every slide uh, didn't change. Uh, at all, so why I did it uh, in the Photoshop. But anyway, uh, the dynamic version here, uh, we could use um, the blur uh, filter here. Filter blur, it's a kind of a built-in plugin. And as you can see, it works fine uh, somewhere here until this, this value, like uh, 20, 30 maximum. After that, you will see this is pixelization effect and uh, it looks not, not, so well, not so well. Even even if you make a ne several copies of that, even in that situation, you will see, yeah, it looks like pixelized uh, the, the picture. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, that looks not so good. So let's see how it wor how it is working right now with the new Viz uh, Viz Engine render. It's a new one because uh, j all these gel shell shaders. They don't work uh, in, in the classic pipeline, only new one. So here, as you can see, I can increase the blurness in very, very high value and the quality is still very affordable. So that's so perfect. So let's see how it can be looks like with animation. That's almost perfect because almost it's only because one thing. Unfortunately, you can see how Mm, jumping the blurriness of the background. Uh, it works not perfectly as I wanted. Uh, I don't know why it's happening, but uh, when you change the blurriness effect, uh, very subtle, when subtle movements like uh, from eight to ten percentage, that works like this. If uh, the animation is shorter, it works much better. So okay, uh, let's start do this from scratch. I will show you how to collect all of this combination. Okay, let's start from the empty scene. And for that, I'm going to add, uh, first of all, by the way, I have to change uh, from classic to new Viz Engine renderer. And on the left after that, I can put the picture here. And uh, okay, I can start work with this. Let's zoom it in. Okay, and uh, so wrap it up by the main uh, container. Here I'm going to add the classic uh, image control plugin. So nothing special. Of course I have to check this checkbox uh, because it's not a classic render. Um, yeah, that's it. File field identifier number one. That's perfect. And let's make a second copy of that. And this will be image um, blur. And this is just image. Okay. And for this, of course, I have to just to change the position, the size. Okay, that's fine. 
And uh, what should do here? It's to remove uh, yeah, this control. And here I'm going to use instead of this uh, static picture, I'm going to put here the texture renderer. So right now I don't have here anything. I need to add a, a new one. And uh, I can open it, place this picture just for tests, uh, blur it a little bit, and move it uh, texture renderer from here to here. And as you can see, it's working. So even if I change the, the value here, it's it reflects on the screen. So that that's fine. And uh, what I'm going to do here, also I'm going to rename it just for convenience um, to blur. And uh, yeah, almost the static version is, is done. So if I want to control the background as well as uh, the main picture, especially to synchronize it, uh, I can use the universal uh, control parameter here. And uh, for now, I need to keep the same field identifier in order to put one picture in two places. And uh, here, of course, I have to change that image, delete all of this. So where I can uh, find the parameter? Uh, actually, I don't remember it uh, yeah, right now. And the place where I'm going to get this text uh, to copy, it's my new Telegram uh, channel. So yeah, this moment, here are just uh, three records and actually uh, yeah using this moment uh, I'm I'm inviting you to join me uh, I'm going to place the uh, the link to this channel uh, in the description to this video so yeah please find it and uh, join me if you want I try to find uh, the better place uh, where I can put my idea thoughts about wizard using wizardy but I found that uh, Facebook, I don't want to use so much, especially for that kind of information. I still hate the UI of Facebook and uh, the searching is awful. So many things that I don't like in Facebook. So if you like to see specifically my ideas about Wizard just welcome. I I don't know how often I will, I'm going to publish somewhere, something here, but yeah, for now it seems for me the best uh, option to share these small ideas. When I don't have enough time to record a video, I can just put these small things uh, in this channel. So I'm going to just copy this uh, text, which I prepared for this post and paste it here. Uh, and don't forget, of course, uh, to check district box control scene. That's fine, I think. And let's copy some path to another picture. Go to the control object and change it to that. Yes, it's working, 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 working. That's perfect. Uh, so actually, that's it. It's uh, already done. Uh, what we can do here more, it's just only add some animations and so on. Moving, some shadowing, um, I don't know, flare, glare, effects, whatever you want. But the, the main thing is done. That's you can control the image from outside and this will be changed in both places. Uh, so yeah, let's try to add some um, animations. But before that, of course, I have to save it. It's a blur, that's it. And let's go to the stage. Okay, I'm adding the new director, rename to take, and add this texture renderer directly to this director. <laughs> It sounds weird, but okay. Okay, I'm going to uh, change the the blur um, parameter, so that's why I do this. Uh, so, and uh, I will show you how can it be animated. For example, from five to maybe twenty percent, and let's see how it will work. Oh, nice! You see, that's more or less affordable. That's fine. But if you want, for example, prolongate this V uh, animation like this and start you will see that the blurriness doesn't change smoothly. It's just like a jumping. I'm not sure why it's working like this. Maybe it's some kind of optimization in the code of this uh, shader, but yeah, it is how it is. Also, if I'm going to, uh, for example, change animation from, for example, from eight to 10%, okay, start animation. It should be very subtle and smooth, but it's not, it's also, it's also jumping. So unfortunately for now, it's not usable 
for that kind of animations. So if you have very short animation, for example, for take in, take out animation like this one, either shorter or stronger. This, this more or less uh, looks fine. Yeah, in the end, it looks perfectly. But in yeah, within animation, it looks not so nice. Okay, so anyway, it's usable. It looks very, very nicely and you can control it. So welcome, you're welcome, use it. It's nice to, they started um, to prepare this ready to use uh, building GLSL shaders. So again, um, that's, a, that's, that's it for this video. And I'm gonna just want to invite you to my uh, Telegram channel. Let's do this experiment. Bye-bye and see you there.